The U.S. Air Force achieved a major advancement in maritime strike warfare by executing a live-fire test of a newly engineered 500-pound version of the quicksink precision bomb. Conducted at Florida's Eglin Air Force Base over the Gulf Test Range, the mission involved a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber and marked a critical leap toward delivering cost-effective, scalable solutions for countering maritime targets. This new lighter variant evolves from the proven quicksync system, itself a transformation of the widely used Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, platform. Unlike the heavier 2,000-pound predecessor used during events like the 2024 Rim of the Pacific Exercise, the 500-pound model is designed for greater deployment flexibility across a broader range of combat aircraft, including tactical fighters and strategic bombers. This shift enables more payloads per mission and increases the saturation potential against naval defense systems. Integrated with an imaging infrared seeker and guided via GPS-aided inertial navigation, the system autonomously identifies and targets ships by measuring their profiles against an onboard database. This allows the weapon to strike at the most vulnerable spot, the waterline, maximizing damage even with a smaller explosive payload. Recently released Air Force images of GBU-38 munitions being prepared at Whiteman Air Force Base indicate the weapon's readiness for operational deployment. The economic advantage is notable. Each JDAM kit costs approximately $85,000, and the QuickSync Pacific Seeker adds another $200,000, though mass production could lower this to around $50,000. Compared to multi-million dollar cruise missiles like the AGM-158C Razum and AGM-84 Harpoon, QuickSync offers a dramatically lower cost option without sacrificing precision for short to mid-range engagements. The B-2 bomber can carry up to 80 of these bombs, and fighter jets like the F-15E can haul over a dozen, creating a dense and lethal strike package at a fraction of traditional costs. Although this variant is less destructive against large, armored warships, it's ideal for neutralizing patrol boats, logistics vessels, or dock targets in coastal areas. Its affordability and mission volume make it a practical asset in scenarios that don't require long-range missiles or high-explosive payloads. This innovation is part of a larger strategy to arm U.S. forces with low-cost, precision-guided munitions suited for intense combat conditions, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. Insights drawn from recent global conflicts, including in Ukraine, have reinforced the urgency of adaptable strike capabilities. The QuickSync's integration with the Extended Range Attack Munition RAM, program signals an evolving doctrine centered on economical, high-volume, multi-platform warfare solutions. In sum, the 500-pound QuickSync brings a new level of versatility, affordability, and strategic utility to U.S. maritime strike operations, further strengthening America's deterrence and rapid response potential in contested waters.